All right, another one that we've often been asked about is flow arrows. Now, we've been able to annotate an arrow on a piece of civil geometry for for years and years, but that arrow has, uh, in the past, just used the direction of the civil element. Now, with our hydraulics and hydrology functionality, the direction of the civil element, the conduit in this case, is not necessarily the direction of flow. So we've put in place some functionality to look at the direction of flow and use it uh, to add a flow arrow. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's look now at how we'd add a, a flow arrow to a conduit. So for that, I need to find my annotation group that I want to edit and I'll right click and manage that. So this is annotating diameter, length, slope, and so on. And then I need to click Add New. And you see the option here for Flow Arrow Annotation. So I'll select that. That's been added. And then I can set the properties for it. So for the location, I'll do increment, maybe percent, and 50%. So the arrow will be midway along the conduit and then the flow arrow I can describe here the length and the arrow size and the arrow width I can also pick a template which will determine the symbology of the element I'll pick that And then finally, if I want to offset the flow arrow from the conduit, I can set the offset values here. So for example, in profile, I could put offset the flow arrow so that it's within the walls of the conduit or above or below or whatever it is that I need to do. Having done that, I'll close the manage annotations dialog and then we'll use annotate element to annotate a conduit using the annotation style that's already attached to it and if I zoom in here you can see we've got the diameter length slope etc but we've also got the flow annotation arrow. If I select that conduit and we look at the civil properties Note in the drainage results category, there's a flow direction property, and this is the direction that we're using to control the direction of the flow arrow. So positive means that the flow is from the start node to the stop node. So from that node to that node, and as I say, that controls the direction of the flow arrow. Because this property is in the civil properties, it means that it will be available through a reference and therefore the flow arrow annotation can be done through a reference. Now this flow direction property is only set when you compute the hydraulics and the hydrology of a system. But it is worth noting that you can actually do this uh, very simply. Uh, you don't have to go to the effort of creating uh, and setting up all your rainfall data and that kind of thing. If I just open the scenarios dialog, you could compute an analysis scenario. And without setting up the uh, storm data and everything, you could go to the uh, the drainage properties for the top uh, node in each branch and you could use the inflow wet collection here I'll just browse to open this dialog to add a simple fixed load of a, a few litres a second or a um, uh, a cubic foot per second or something simple like that just so that when you compute the system we can then calculate the flow direction in each conduit to set that flow direction property and therefore get the direction of the flow arrows correct thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a like and share it with others if you want to see more like it please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, 
and see you next time.